This week's episode of Awesome Cast is brought to you by Drobo, the lovely people who will make sure that your data is safe at all times. Go ahead and check it out at awesomecast.com. Click on the Drobo link on the right-hand side to learn more. Hey guys, it's the Awesome Cast. We are back in the studio, back off stage. Thank God nobody threw tomatoes at us. Uh, I'm Mike Sorg. We're here in Pittsburgh, PA, in the Mayhem Studios. What a timed reference. What's a timed reference? Yeah, like, a for, timey, like an old timey like reference. Like an old time throwing yeah, tomatoes yeah. at the stage. No one what, does that. That doesn't anymore. happen anymore? No. No? That's not, a, not like a Guar show or something? No. People no, boo. People that. boo and leave. No tomato throwing. No. no. Nobody uh, boos and no. leaves at a Guar show without getting peed on. That is true. Oh. That is true. Make sure you wear the white shirt. It was quite the experience. There, also in Pittsburgh, at the Cotton Factory, is Rob De La Creta. Rob De La Creta. Hey, hey, hey! You're just telling us you just finally went on a vacation. I did. I, uh, as because for my uh, my adult life, I'm getting used to this whole being an adult thing. You know what the first thing I did when I turned 18 was? What's that? Bought a dozen donuts and ate all of them. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm an adult, I can do this. Yes, exactly. I was like, nobody can tell me not to do this, so I'm going to eat a dozen donuts. But, um... I was dragged into a store to buy an adult magazine. Yeah, when well, you turned 18. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, um, drug so... Me in there. They're like, no, you're buying this, here's the money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in, in my adult career, I had never taken a vacation. Like, I would take time off to go do another job. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I decided that it was time. Oh my god, how old are you? Uh, 25? <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. I just <laughs> you sounded like surprised. Just, just at, at least, the, well, it would be sad if you were as old as I was and that was the case. Oh, not, yeah. that, not that I've taken a real vacation in several years, but... Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I graduated college um, four or five years ago or something like that. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and- but yeah, so I spent a fantastic weekend in New York City um, with a friend of mine, and... Um, and then uh, oh, on, on my final day of my vacation, on my travel back, my vacation was almost ruined by angry text messages from my, from my co-workers who <laughs> Fantastic. were upset I wasn't there. That's why everybody needs to turn their, their equipment off when they go on a vacation. Yes. Off limits. Hard to do these days. Chachi behind the board, and I'm being told by Sonic Screwdriver 3 in the chat room that laser pointers have replaced tomatoes. But uh, 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 with what Rob said... So they can blind us. I haven't taken a vacation. No? No, the last vacation I took... Or the last vacation time I used mm-hmm. was for my knee surgery. Yeah. Other yeah. than that, I just keep working. I don't. There's, yeah. like, there's my, something my time, my desperately time, wrong with us. Not really. I like working. <laughs> that's true. That's, that's true. I mean, that's what I do. All right. I mean, I took I I like working, but I took the vacation because we're about to head into a a dark chasm of working way too much, way mm-hmm. too often, mm-hmm. and so before mm-hmm. my head actually was used to paint the walls of the studio. <laughs> I, I figured I needed to unplug for a weekend, and I, I, because I dropped my 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 laptop off at the Apple Store to get it fixed before I left, and then my phone was on silent, no vibrate for the whole weekend, and I looked at it like once a day. It was the best thing ever. That's nice. That's nice. Everybody it, needs to do that every once in a while. Yeah, really. Like look at the internet once a day for five minutes, and like mm-hmm. that's it. And you're like, oh, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like tweeting too much. We're gonna we're gonna take a week off here and go on a vacation together. <laughs> to yeah. a show remotely or something. I don't know. We get to sleep in the same bed. Uh, only if we're lucky. All right, let's get the middle. To, <laughs> if you wanna, if you have any input on this, you can contact us here at the Awesome Cast. We like your oh, feedback. We <laughs> like your feedback, guys. You can talk to us at contact at awesomecast.com. Of course, the site is at is uh, awesomecast.com. You can Twitter us at awesomecast or call us at seven two four two five eight cast. Two seven two four two five two 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 seven eight. Like these fine feet, fine people that have contacted us this week. Almost call them feeple. Feeple, feeple. Uh, you know we got stickers, guys. And Chachi, can you bring up this uh this the sticker? You stop pointing at it for the video, people. And <laughs> we have these stickers, guys. Uh, right here. You can't really see them because they're yellow. <laughs> there it is. There's a better shade. Yes. Uh, but but uh, somebody uh at Thick Bikes uh uh tweeted us. And, uh, somebody, not just somebody. You met him. I met him, 
but I know him as that thick place. Um, but no, he he tw- he uh, tweeted a picture of what he did with his stickers, Joshy. If you could pull that up there, where is it? It's it's in the dock. No, it's not. Want them stickers? Oh, <laughs> oh, it is in the dock. I didn't know that says. I didn't know what that was. That's one. I wasn't stickers. I wasn't plugging our own crap like that. Because I didn't know what it was. There. <laughs> so there, there it go. is. So Wait, on. if you've done awesome stuff, like make awesome Nutella, please uh, tweet us and contact us at all those places. And if you want stickers, go to awesomecast.com. We have an address for you to send a self-addressed stamped envelope to. What is going on? I have no idea. You went to my Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. There he is. There's Thick Bikes. I there went to his Twitter. Christopher is his name. Hi. Yes, his name is Chris. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good job. Also over on Twitter, and there's the docs. There's the docs again. <laughs> he's he's learning. It's I'm all right. Gonna kick you. It's in the all face. right. He's learning. He's learning. Chachi's Ch- learning them boards. Um. Also, uh, we uh, you know, I well, actually, I'll, I'll save this part for later in the show. AJ sent us a story. No, he didn't. Remember AJ? He Did might he? be coming back to the show soon. What I story? might. We might have us uh about lasers. Oh, internet. In space. You need to follow along with me. I saw. Well, it doesn't say AJ sent it in. It's under funky. Like, it says laser internet in space link. No name. And it was after the one that Funky Dung okay. submitted. Okay. So okay. I assume. But anyways. Uh, That's tr- I mean, it, it's even, it's, it's in gray. It's not even black. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, how is that a title? That doesn't indicate a title. It indicates something unimportant. Right. Anyways, um... No, you're doing it wrong! Stop I'm trying to undermine us! I'm t- <laughs> I know. Okay, I space. suck at the docs! At least I looked at them this week. Oh. Uh, NASA's testing laser internet in space. Laser space internet. Uh, basically, uh, they're, 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 they're looking to transmit the internet to, to space in a, in a, in a faster way. And, uh, from my talk with in AJ, a faster way in a what? faster way than they have now. Satellite? Yeah, yeah. In basically, space. basically, the, la- the one of the concepts of this laser is they're going to be able to transfer transfer files within five minutes to Mars. What size files are we talking about here? I don't know. He brought like up porn. the Office minutes, the Office minutes. Yeah, yeah. you know something like that. But right. that, I mean, a- that isn't really a measurement of how awesome this is. Just, I mean, I can transfer files to Mars. Like, what, what's the uh... I don't know. AJ's not here to explain himself. This is awful. This is terrible. Just because you read the docs doesn't mean you actually read the docs, apparently. Oh, oh what up? Anyways, <laughs> moving on to other stories. Lasers in space. Cool. Go on. <laughs> hey, did you, uh, uh, Chachi, you get your email from Netflix last week? Oh, that was amazing. I did. Yes, yes. You want me to I read know it? We're a little, you don't you, have to read the whole you, thing. You want me to read it? No, I don't want you to read it. Only if you read it in a funny voice. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, there you go. Let's see. There, they basically can look at you making that funny voice. Let's see. Let me, let me find it. I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna find the email. Can we summarize this? No. Dear guys. Dear guys. We're really, really sorry <laughs> that we suck. Mm-hmm. So, uh, we realized that you were a little upset when we tr- started to, like, try and <laughs> Push you as a whole towards streaming <laughs> content instead of these weird physical things that we don't even know what to do with anymore. And they're really like, it was like somebody grabbed your diaper and just pulled it as hard as they could. And we understand this. So uh, we're just going to split that off into two different companies because, like I said, we don't understand these physical round things. We're going to let somebody else handle that. Oops. Listen, I would just like to point out that my favorite part of the email, all right, my favorite part of the email says, Dear Anthony, I messed up. Yes. <laughs> and, and, of course, insert your name where... So, basically, to sum it up, Netflix is going to split off their DVD division to something called Quickster, which they didn't even get the Twitter name for. Whoa. Somebody's sitting on it, had it already. I, I don't know what they're trying to do there. Um, that was their mistake. Yeah. So it says, you know, it's going to be a separate company so that we can market it separately because it is a different thing. Uh, you will be getting two things on your bill if you still have your DVD subscription. It will be a separate website. And uh, and here you go. Now, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. It's like, oh, uh, oh and uh, Quickster is also uh, going to be offering video games as an addition to the subscription. That kind of got me excited. Yeah. If they can do better with video games than Gamefly does... 
If they do what for video games, what they did for movies at this point, I think it'll be worth it. And for something that's just a little bit of an add-on to what I already get, I don't think that's too bad. That is a weird face you're making over there. <laughs> a yawn. Um, that, was a weird, that was like an internal yawn. Yeah. Um, anyways, I've, and uh, but oh, there's a lot of backlash that's, off that's, of this. That's what I think there's about Netflix. There's a lot of backlash off this, of this. this um, it really... It, it feels like they're trying to cut. It it, tr- it's, it it feels like you know instead of trying to cut off the leg, they're trying to make the leg into a new person so they can just shove them out the car door. <laughs> what the? Right? What? Yeah. What? I. I... <laughs> wow. Wait, next, you didn't follow this. Next story. No, no. I think this deserves a little bit of discussion. Because uh, uh, you know the DVDs are going to go away. And obviously they're hedging their bets on streaming. On top of that, I think that they they had a lot of numbers were inflated because a lot of people get DVDs that can't get streaming. So when they say this many millions of people can get streaming and they're presenting those numbers to Hollywood, that was inflating what it, what it was worth. Rob? What? <laughs> <laughs> Rob's forehead? <clears throat> Olé! You want my opinion on, on wow what happened there how did that happen <laughs> i just like pulled up my <laughs> you're looking at your video <laughs> where are you going it looks like you're hiding from us <laughs> it looks like a thumb with hair <laughs> rob, is, rob is now a thumb okay. with hair uh, uh you know you remember uh a total total rat hole you're welcome uh it's better than netflix uh, <laughs> Remember uh, the Vanilla Ice album um, that uh, that uh, uh, Ice Ice Baby was on? What was Ice? Yeah. Okay. Do you remember the album know. cover for that? No. It was basically the shot that I'm doing right now, but with his like crazy hair. <laughs> and when I was a kid, I had the cassette tape, and I thought it was a thumb for the longest time. <laughs> It Couldn't figure like it out. Thumb. And I was like, oh my god, it's his hair. <laughs> it's his head with his hair. Oh no. Uh, Anyways, what do you think about yeah, this? Yeah, I don't know the Netflix thing. It's a lot of people, it's just really funny, is what it is. <laughs> like, things happen so quickly. Yeah, yeah. Who would, have th- who would have thought that Netflix would be, you know, on top of the world? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I don't I, I feel like there's a much deeper like financial story to this whole thing that I haven't looked at at all. Um where they are looking like there's a lot of I feel like the noise relative to the physical medium that Netflix is spitting out, the ratio of like noise to actual people who mm-hmm. use the physical medium mm-hmm. is, is very skewed. Now wait a minute. So you don't think as many people are getting DVDs from Netflix as they're saying? Um I think, like, in the grand scheme of things, the numbers are dropping incredibly quickly. Well, I think they are now because they, they were both. So when they split them, everybody, both both sides took a hit because people were using one or the other and not both. Yeah. And that makes I mean, sense. It made people think about it. Like, maybe, do I really need this other service I was kind of using? And yeah, they exactly. Said, and they made a decision. And, and A lot of people sign up for it. And, it, and, and like, yeah. how many people do you know who get the DVD thing and, actually, like, don't actually use it? Or they watch, like, one a month compared to, like, watching a ton of stuff. But, I think, I, but I think a lot of people, like, you know, I was, uh, I was getting Netflix for my dad to try out. You know, he can't get streaming. There's a lot of people that can't get streaming. Not everybody has, a, you know, a 10 megabyte con- connection that that's worthwhile to them. You know, mm-hmm. um, so I, I think I think for legacy, that product is going to be doing very well and competes very well with something like Redbox. Which oh, are, sure. Which I mean, are, com- competing with like the Redbox stuff. Yeah, if that's your if that's really your jam. But also, uh, I don't know. It's, it's one of those uh, one of those going forward things. Like it's getting harder yeah, and harder yeah. to end up with a TV and a DVD player. Yeah, that's true. Like, it's, it's going the way that the VCRs did because how many VCRs are around? You know? Yeah, exactly. And, and it's like, not even, it's not just DVDs. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's everything. It's like physical media in general. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I think it's going to be there for a while. I don't think it's going to go, go away as quickly as CDs have. You know, no. obviously, C, well, you know, CDs are smaller. You know, it's easier to do that. Um, but it's just. Don't say that about the mini disc. <laughs> <laughs> They're smaller. They'll be around longer. Oh, wait. Well, no, I'm, no, I mean, the files are, are smaller. So it's easier to say, oh, I'll download that. And it'll take a couple minutes, you know. Versus a movie, you know, an HD movie. I'm I, like, I'm sorry. I sat there watching like a. have been watching through uh, a lot of the old James Bonds that I never got to. 
and they're HD, and I think they look tremendous until they start using the weird uh, green screens for the car chases, and you see it all. <laughs> oh my god! Um, but you know, I'm watching that streaming, and but not everybody's going to get that. I'm sure I don't get as as good a picture if I was over on Comcast. Did so. you? Uh, speaking of streaming stuff, mm-hmm. did you, do you? You have Amazon Prime, right? Yes, I do. You logged into Amazon today. Uh, I've logged in the last two days. They've had this thing up. This thing up. So, yes, uh, yes. and, and my sentiments, sentiments, you uh, of, no. of, uh, That's of this business. Um, so if you are an Amazon prime member and you log into Amazon, uh, I assume they're only advertising this at prime members. They might be telling I everybody. They, to hope. It might be to everybody. Like, okay. To get people to sign up for it. But, uh, Did so, uh, as we've discussed in the past, Streaming video over Prime is mostly worthless. Yeah, there's stuff there, but... you got to look you know, really, really hard. Like, harder than you have to look with Netflix, which is really, really hard. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So there's, um, there's this big letter that says, Dear Customer. Uh-huh. Dear Customers, uh, I have big news for Amazon Prime members. We've just signed a deal with Fox to add a broad selection of movies and TV shows to our unlimited instant streaming service later this fall. The new additions from the Fox library include, Brace yourself, kids. This is going to be... A, it's going to blow your mind. These shows are so up to date <laughs> that it's it's just gonna screw with your head. Okay, are you oh ready? Twenty four. Arrested Development. The X Files. Allie McBeal. Allie the McBeal. Vampire Slayer. Allie McBeal. And wait. What? Available. Of, hold on. What? Hang on. Hold but your there's hats. more. If you call now for a low price of seventy nine dollars a year, you will be able to stream the Wonder Years. Thomas Arnold for the win. Jesus Christ! I don't even. <laughs> so so with uh, that, other than, unless you were a big like I need to see my Winnie Cooper I had a crush on in high school, uh, uh stuff, you know, uh, th- th- yeah. this basically just made Amazon Prime on par with everybody else. I mean, this, if that man, like, I mean, like Netflix is like my opinion of Netflix is that Netflix is cool if you're into watching cartoons that are ten years old. We do. My opinion of Amazon Prime is if. Oh, how can I say this without being incredibly offensive? (laughs) (laughs) It's like, if you really enjoy watching things that are 10 years old, and you have a brain disorder, (laughs) that's Amazon Prime for me. No, no, no. I mean, the the problem for me why this doesn't make sense is I can't get it on my TV because I have an Xbox. I know what he was going to say. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, this is a... This isn't for me. This is for somebody that doesn't have all those other things. Uh, Sonic you know Screwdriver I mean? in the chat. Yeah. Amazon Prime is trying to become the AMC of streaming. The AMC? Yes. <laughs> Showing the stuff that no one wants. Yeah. Yeah. What was this? Uh, what is this? Amazon launches its uh, first salvo against Netflix's weakness. Yeah. Oh, the AMC. Okay. I see. I was a leader for that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Basically. So Amazon's doing a lot, but. Yeah, but you know uh, what? 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 Netflix has DreamWorks. What? In 2013. Oh, so? <laughs> they still yeah. have it. They, they're they're going to have it. Right. Um. Well, let's talk about that. So apparently, yeah, they're going to get DreamWorks, so. which is, you know, Kung Fu, Panda, Shrek, uh, Train the Dragon, whatever that was. All movies that you don't like. No, wait, no. Coming to no, Netflix. No, no, let's be serious, though. That. The DreamWorks movies are really good for the most part, right? No, they're a big deal. They're Kung a, Fu they're a Panda big, is the only one. They're a big Shrek. You didn't like Shrek? No. Okay, let's pretend you're not Chachi and you actually like Shrek, which a lot of people. Did why, is there, why is there? Why is there need deal. for four of them? What Shreks? Oh yeah, that's a little ridiculous. I, I'm with you there, but still, this the the more the bigger deal of this is. Yeah. This used to be exclusive to HBO. I didn't know this when these movies were on XP, HBO. They eliminated their access to buy them online. You couldn't go to iTunes and buy Kung Fu Panda while it was showing on HBO. Why would you do that? Why would you? Why would you eliminate? uh, Why would you eliminate access of buying the movie? Because they're paying twenty million dollars a movie. There you go. And Netflix is not going to have this restriction when they get it. Uh, it's going to be a nice, a nice ad of good and newer movies. They're going to have newer Netflix, uh, DreamWorks if movies. If you're paying $20 million a movie, mm-hmm. you want people to come to you to watch that movie. That's true. That's true. 
That's true. You want people to be like, oh, I watched Kung Fu Panda on HBO because it's the only place that is showing it on TV. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or or that I can get it unless I buy the DVD. Right. Did yeah. they give any numbers on what DreamWorks is contributing? Uh, as far as movies? Yes. Let me take a look here. Because um, uh, DreamWorks has actually only distributed 60 movies. Yeah. So to say it's... Well, this article is dumb anyhow. It, and if you're going to include... Uh, like DreamWorks, Paramount, uh, and Walt Disney, and everything that DreamWorks has had their fingers in, you're only looking at like a hundred movies. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a little bit at a time. It's quality over quantity, there, Robert. You are trying way too hard. Yes, I am. I'm trying to play. I'm trying to side with Netflix because they need somebody on their side right now. They did. Um, uh, they did put out um, Euro Trip. If you remember Euro Trip, that was a funny movie. Euro Trip. That was a fun movie. Uh, Catch me if you can. Okay. It okay. was a great movie. That was a good movie. Yeah. Uh, Beautiful Mind. So this isn't just the animation. Which Cast Away. Okay. Um, uh, American Beauty. Saving Private Ryan. That's, those are some pretty serious movies that are going over there. Yeah, and they also put out Deep Impact, which should make you want to something, something, something. Morgan something. Freeman. Hey, <laughs> Morgan Freeman's president. Yes. Did you know? Do you need me? anything else than that? Small Soldiers. Uh, Man, I love Small, small Soldiers. soldiers. I would just go. like to point out. All right. <laughs> that Morgan Freeman blew my mind the other night. I, I was flipping through uh, channels after watching something. Okay. And he was on the... You're watching uh, yourself on TV again? No, no. I wasn't on. I checked. I wasn't on? No, I wasn't on. But, <laughs> I wasn't new, on, so I turned tweet, off the TV. New tweet. New Twitter. Is Chachi on TV? But um, <laughs> I, I was flipping through the channel, and he was on the... Uh, that guy who replaced Larry King. Um, Who do you... <laughs> Uh, Pierce, Pierce. That's it, Pierce Morgan. Morgan. Yeah, yeah, Pierce Morgan. Okay. Oh no, he's destroying the studio. <laughs> but, it's um, okay. It's I, okay. I was flipping through, and it, Morgan Freeman was on. Yeah. And I have a tendency to stop for at least a minute or two when I see Morgan Freeman on my TV. You want to? You want to see if he says MF again? Right. Yeah. Exactly. But um, I found out that he can't use his left hand. Really? He now in like I think it was 2007. He was in a car accident. So he lost the use of his left hand. It's still there. He just can't use it. Really? Like he can't move his fingers and everything. Morgan, so that means, man. and I, I went to I went to IMDb because I was curious to see how many movies he's done since he lost the use of his hand, and the the count was nine. So for nine movies, he hasn't used his left hand. There's gotta be. <laughs> wow. He is left-handed, but uh, currently cannot move the fingers of his left hand. He wears a compression glove to protect against blood pooling See? due to non-movement. See? Wow. It blew my mind. He's like that guy from Mr. Dr. No. Wow. It was uh, August 2008 when he had the accident. Yeah. So, wow. I, seriously. Huh. It blew my mind. Sorry. Go ahead. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> I don't know. What, what were we talking about? Oh, uh, Deep Dream Impact. Works. Deep Impact. Yeah. <laughs> Deep Impact. There Morgan you go. Morgan Freeman, very right-handed. <laughs> yeah, right now. Uh, Sc- Sonic like, Screwdriver is, is saying, is uh, is DreamWorks deal an anti-Disney mo- Disney move because of the stars problem? Probably. I think so. I mean, it kind of fills that gap of like children's programming and obviously other stuff if it's going to include all this as well. I don't know. All the, all the stories I've read and heard are people talk about, well, Kung Fu, Planet, Panda, and Shrek, which really it is a lot more than that. Right. So Yeah, yeah, it is quite a bit more than that. But they, I mean, they've also, let's see, the last... They still they Ooh. do quite a bit with Disney as of this year. There's huh. a 30 picture distribution deal with Walt Disney as of this year. Uh, with ne- Netflix? No. No, with with uh, DreamWorks. Like DreamWorks is distributing Disney movies, so I don't know if I believe oh, that. Oh wow, that's yeah. that's a that's a weird story. Yeah. Um, that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, otherwise, uh, Amazon still you know making other waves this week. Uh, they have a press conference tomorrow. I, I did ask. I, I did say we were going to do some wild speculations yesterday for the show, uh, to which Dabotech did uh, respond and said Amazon's going to announce that they bought Rim and will offer smartphone service. Uh, so I'm going. I'm going with that one. <coughs> Other than <laughs> you're right over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I didn't put this in the doc because I actually just saw this. This came up like randomly today, and I actually didn't look too much as it at it. But they th- it came out what they're going to announce tomorrow. Is called the Kindle Fire. Ooh! You see what they did there? You see Ooh. what they did there? And, and it's going to be the an, the Android, uh, you know, tablet that we uh, we all really expected. Um, have you guys been hearing anything about this? Nope. 
Nope. So it's, it's Amazon. <laughs> Are we excited about this? Is this going to nope. be our iPod, our iPad killer, our iPad uh, competition finally? Nope. You know, I was I was actually uh, I was talking to uh, my friend this weekend about this because we both don't like e-readers. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I had uh, my my flight to New York City had an unfortunate connection in Washington D.C. where I was stuck there for three hours. Mm-hmm. And so I've got you know, <laughs> interesting situation. You have this thing in your pocket, iPhone completely connected to anything you want. You've got like the whole iBooks library or whatever. I have the Amazon Kindle app so I can get any book I want. Can't read books on digital devices. Can't do it. Nope. On your phone? On digital, I can't, on my computer, no. I on your that. iPad, I'm, nothing. Can't not do it on the iPad. It's just like a really strong personal conviction where I'm just a much bigger fan of reading books by the page. You're a fan of paper? I'm a, I'm a fan of paper. Wow. Out of all yeah. the digital that you're into, you're a fan of paper. Yeah, out of all, like, the curmudgeonly, like, oh, these kids <laughs> and their DVDs, they'll never understand. I, um, yeah, books, really into books. And so, like, the Kindle, like, I see people using the Kindle. I can't get behind it. It's yeah. also because I don't spend a whole lot of time reading. I, these, I was amazed. Besides, like, the internet. But. I was amazed. Uh, uh, a couple weeks ago, I took, uh, I had to take the train downtown, uh, and I haven't done that during, like, when everybody else goes to work, basically. Um, and, you know, usually I remember you would see a lot of people reading books and all that stuff, right? Books. Yeah, you know, paper books. Um, but I was amazed at the variety of things I saw. I saw Kindles. I saw a Nook. I saw somebody reading a Nook right beside somebody with a book. I, I wondered if they were reading the same book. They were um, reading a, a Nook uh, with a book. I, I just looked at that. I was like, how quaint. And the hook. Um, if it wouldn't have been weird, I would have taken a picture. One of them was a cook. One of them was a cook. A Nook with a cook. A Nook, a nook next to the book. With, next, with, the, with the Nook. With the Nook. Okay. Okay, I see what you and did there. Cook. Okay, but um, I mean, these things are pretty, pretty big. You know, I mean, these, these guys, people are really picking up on these, and, and that's just there. You're seeing them in public, you know, and uh, and Rob's the weird one. Rob, and, obviously, no, because I'm with Rob. You're with Rob. Yeah. You're you're a book person. Now, what about comic? Have you guys tried tried comic books on them? No, I don't read comics. You don't read you don't read comics. So okay, uh, I've been reading a lot of comics online. So. You know, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of with it on that. I have not. I mean, I even have like I have a limit to like the length of an article that I can read. It's a, it's like a really? total ADD thing. But I mean, <laughs> we were uh, I don't know. I was I was me personally was raised by like physical books and then web browsers. <laughs> so <laughs> my content went from being like really long and physical to being extremely short and digital. So there's a difference and there's a distinction. Yeah. Now, is yeah. there a difference between your distinction and between other people saying? I'm not going to watch TV on my computer. No, no, no. You don't think that's like a preference thing? Because use... I'm still, I'm still watching long format things on. Well, my no, computer. no, no. I don't, I don't say you. I mean, a lot of, a lot of people <laughs> out there won't watch TV on their computer. It doesn't make sense to them. Say, why I... would I do that? I have a TV. Why would I watch The Office on Hulu? I have a TV. Sonic Screwdriver in the chat room says, if you drop your book, you might still get to read it. That's true. Oh. That's oh, well, he's got. That's he's good. he's right there. He's well, right I feel there. like for me, there's very little, especially today. There's an extremely mm. little difference between your computer and your mm-hmm. and your television. I mean, if you want, I, I've got some lovely TVs downstairs that are a computer in a television. It's not <laughs> uncommon. My 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 brother actually uses his uh, his TV as a computer monitor most of the time. So do I. So I mean, yeah, you do the same thing. I mean, that's I think that's pretty commonplace these days. For uh, for people that have bachelor pads, let's say, you know, um, or have what? Like bachelor gotcha. pads, you know. Oh. I mean, you're sitting up, wow. you're having a living room and everything. You have a big TV, you know. I think that's a little. It, it, your your I watch situation. Enough, I now, watch enough content on my on my commu- computer monitor mm-hmm. that it might as well be a TV. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. But plus, uh, plus your computer is right next to it, anyway. Right. Yeah. Um, anyways, so, so we're not excited about this press conference at all tomorrow. No, no, no. What, what press conference? I wasn't even. This, they're doing, <laughs> they're doing a press conference for that, uh, whole new Kindle Android tablet that's going to destroy everything. Yeah. Ooh. Nobody's going to care. Nobody's going to care. Really? You, you, you think Amazon's not going to be able to pull this off? Nope. Ah, it's been a while. You a gotta, really long while. You Amazon gotta, does cool things. Don't, don't. Yeah. Don't yeah. Know. And it's done, just like they've done so much with digital these days. I mean, I, granted, okay, let's say this isn't for you. 
But look at the people that are reading Kindles, that are using Nooks, that are doing all these other things, that are using iPads. It, do you think that Amazon is the one that's going to come up with something? Obviously, that's going to be on all their platforms. They have the streaming video. They have the cloud player now for, for you to put your music on the device. They have the Kindle books. You can basically live inside an entire Amazon ecosystem on a tablet. Let me let me put it this way. Okay. Uh, Amazon does a lot of cool stuff, uh, like Prime, for instance, which you and I love dearly. But at the same time, Prime offers this video streaming thing. It's really just a throw-in to get us into it. Exactly. Um, and I'd be really, really staggeringly impressed if the numbers for people who buy Prime for the streaming video are big at all. It's not. It can't be. Yeah, unless it's you mostly have, like, unless if you, you thought about not it. renewing, yeah. here's the thing. It's gotta be... It's got to be, you know, I have a Roku and it was on there and oh, maybe I'll try this. And when, yeah, yeah, exactly. And when and you so, break it down, when you break it down, it is cheaper than Netflix. Sure. Uh, but it is. so to the same token, they came out with the Kindle and it's, um, it's almost like, uh, what ridiculously bad metaphor can I think of to explain this? <laughs> it's okay. So, um, HP makes cameras, right? Mm hmm. Pro tip, don't ever buy a camera from a company that specializes in making printers. Don't, don't buy a TV from them either. Mm -hmm. Cause they, so the reason that HP started making cameras? To sell more printers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Amazon, however, specializes in books. Uh, what makes the most you know, sense? Books digitally. If anybody can pull it off and pull it off well, it's Amazon. And okay. Amazon has done that and they've created okay. a device that whether people like it or not, is incredibly efficient, is really simple, it's easy to use, your parents can handle it, you can get any book you want, and it's great. So I expect the, the keynote to be nothing special as far as the industry is concerned, but I expect them to make take the device that they have that's already successful and make it moderately better. like a Sort of like a, an Apple press release where I'm just like, people are like, oh, what's going to happen at the new Apple keynote thing? They're going to take something they already have and make it amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, what uh, do you well, want me to say? Let me, let me back, backtrack that, that analogy a little bit. When, and maybe, maybe, maybe this is a different story for you. When is the last time you bought a book on Amazon? Uh, uh, maybe people, seven months ago. For the people known for books, how my, how much of the stuff you get on Amazon on that Prime account? He is a book. I bought books three months ago. Amazon's not really a book company anymore. They not anymore. Now they're, they're more of a large... Uh, and you can't say, you know, they're, they're, they're covering a lot of bases there, and I think very well. But for people who buy books online, they're still cheap. Mm -hmm. Because of how many other companies they own, as well as Amazon.com. Yeah, yeah I mean, they're, they're that. Centers. They have Audible, they have Zappos, they have, um, they, they, you know, they have the video streaming, they have their own app store now. Um, which has a little bit of controversy with that free app a day thing right now. Uh, but still, I mean, they, they have the ecosystem to, to bring it over. Basically what they did was they started selling books and incidentally used their massive flow of selling books to sharpen their chops on selling everything. Everything else. else. Exactly. Exactly. And they have such a I've... large ecosystem of everything. It's amazing. Speaking yeah. And they're, they, so, they're, they're yes, there's a... going to be a keynote. It's going to be cool. A lot of people yeah. will be happy. Yeah. And the Kindle will continue to, I mean, like when the Nook hit the market, it was dead the moment that it started. It's, it's mostly, it, it, this is an evolution of the Kindle more than, uh, oh my God, it's a new tablet that's going to be great. So, excellent, excellent. Um, so Google Plus is 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 free for everybody. Isn't that a shame? <laughs> the floodgates are open. Everybody Rob hates is now friending him. Yeah. Um, I know that's happening for me. Uh, I, I yeah, I've had like a hundred new requests. I swear every day. Uh -huh. I, it's been it's been pretty crazy. I don't even know who half of these people are. Um. So it, I have a special group for them. You have a special group for them. You put them in the circle and then turn it off. I, I put them in and a then circle you, you called delete. "Who the f is that?" <laughs> and I turn it off. And then you turn it off. You no. mute it. Okay, that's one way to handle that situation. And then when you really get mad, you just delete it and watch it roll away. Yep. Um. Yeah. Uh. It's you know, and but they 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 rolled out some new features alongside. Oh, actually, what have you been seeing? I mean, otherwise, I mean, what have your experiences been in this first week of it's been opening up? Really, I've seen personally. I've seen the people that were there back in the day, like, oh, cool, look at this Google Plus, and they came back. I haven't seen 
other than the people adding me, I don't know. I haven't seen that much for new faces. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be really honest about Google Plus. Okay. Um, when when it first came out, like I played with it a lot. I don't know if it was like I had time to at that moment, but um, played with it a lot. Thought it was really cool. Did that for like uh, a month or whatever it was. Did not go back. Yep. Okay. Um, okay. Just use it. It's, it's also it. one of those things where there's no reason to use it if all of your friends aren't there. All of my friends are still on Facebook, so I can. Like, if I need to burn time or I'm, like, waiting for something, I'm standing in line, mm-hmm. uh, pull up Facebook, and I can, like, it's, I have so many friends on uh, Facebook, especially you're, you're, because of, like, the Pittsburgh small city thing. Like, yeah. they're actual physical people that I've met in real life doing things that, like, I care about or would like to know about. Then my stream has gotten to be pretty interesting, and I can flip through and learn things. Whereas, like, if I go to, I'm going to, we're going to do an experiment, right? Gonna open a browser plus.google.com. Uh, loading. Uh, let's see. One new person is sharing with me. Uh, I don't know that person. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, the last comment was at 5 o'clock p.m. It was AJ. Uh, it was uh, somebody about uh, bicycle comments. Before that was um, stylishwhitefemale.tumblr.com. Uh, four o'clock. Before that was Michael Sorg hanging in the chat room at three fifty-two for freelance for real. See, this is not a very active stream. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's it's not necessarily, and I think it's going to grow. It's definitely the last couple of days there. I've seen more faces getting back into it, and and I think the difference is um, when I want more comments, this is where I go though, and that that's that's still been a, a, a steady factor in it. I mean, it's still very useful for when we're doing our pay-per-view streams. It's still very valuable when we're doing our hangouts during during live events like Monday Night Raw. Um, I mean, that's been our use case. Okay. Okay. But it, it's, yeah, I, I, it, it definitely has a lot of growing, you know. I mean, it, it's, it's going to. And it doesn't help that we're already integrated so far in Facebook and Twitter. And this is one more thing. And it's not one more thing I can just plug into Hootsuite and say, well, I'll broadcast there, too. I'd like to address yeah. the chat room. Okay, what's going on in the chat there, Chachi? Um, first off, <laughs> it, it was said that uh, iPads are the prom queen, but other tablets are better than not having a date at all. And I wanted to say that because that was kind of funny. Which tablet is dating is going to is is going to uh oh what, what is that saying? Is it going with your mom or going with your sister or something? It like doesn't that? matter. Oh, anyways, moving on. It's um, a playbook. It's I would a playbook like to address Sonic way. Screwdriver. Okay. And you said there was a rumor flying around about Facebook charging for access. Oh, my God. That happens oh once every God. three months. People. Once, Learn how to use the freaking internet. Oh, once every God. three months that happens. So the, the same thing happened with MySpace for the longest time. But the same thing happens with any any service. Twitter. Here you go, kids. Here's, Twitter had that. Here's Grandpa Rob's advice on how to use the internet. <laughs> Things like Facebook, they're never going to turn off your account because you didn't use it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you don't reply to this, we're going to delete your... No, no, they're not, idiot. Nobody's um, ever done that. Nobody's ever done that. So I like angry. how it looks like he's in a rocking chair. God. And he, I, him, like, <laughs> and he called himself Uncle or Grandpa Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. We're going to talk about but, the um, Come on, kids. So, let's, let's discuss this. Yeah, I yeah, added... So, huge free things with millions of users. Yes, they're going to start charging for it. No, they're not. No, no. Well, you know, most people don't... Don't reblog this thing so they save your account. Don't repost anything because they save your account. And nobody from PayPal is ever going to ask for your password. <laughs> well, I started... I don't know if you saw the spam message I got. I saw I started a new Tumblr page. It's it's called uh, MeGiggle.tumblr.com. Bring that up. Um, is there anything visual to show there? Yeah. yeah sure but um, me what giggle. it is? Yeah. I, I I wanted to create a uh, web address for it, so I put in MeGiggle. It's uh, but um, it's basically a place where I'm gonna post things that make me laugh <laughs> in life, um, like. Like in life, like look as at opposed this, to in like, death, like looking at this idiot, look at this idiot kind of thing. Or yeah. okay, that's what um, I kind of figure. Oh, look, there's a nice picture of you at your desk. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the very first thing I posted on it was a spam email I received mm-hmm. from support at twitter.com. and this is what the email said. It said, 
Your account has been suspended for a violation of our terms of service. Your Twitter was suspended for mass tweeting and following, following large numbers of users and tweeting too much <laughs> in attempt to gain You're attention. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> uh, and an attempt to gain attention to your own account can be irritating to other users and is a violation of the Twitter rules. Did Rob send Shut this up. to you? No, stop. Okay. Let me finish. All right. To avoid account suspension, fill up our giveaway offers below. <laughs> Click here to complete some offers. And I they're not even like trying hard. No, 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 they're not. They're like, oh my god, oh my but god. Yeah, I uh, they, they like got like eighty, ninety percent of the way there to be convincing, and just, they're like, just blew his li- yeah. yeah, just blew it at the end. Yeah, just 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 ran it. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it was like funny. this is a very serious letter. Do you like clowns? <laughs> <laughs> but um. On top of that, so, since we're talking about me, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I added, I, I created a new list for companies that are displeasing me, and I'm going to compare this, uh, this, this list to that, you know how when your parents were upset with something you've done, and they were always like, we're not mad at you, we're disappointed. Okay. Okay. That's what this list is compared to. Okay. Um, T-Mobile and Nintendo are on this list. I'm not mad at them. <laughs> I'm just disappointed in the way they're uh, acting. We really wish that you would do better. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, the CMO of T-Mobile. And CMO. I, yeah, he's a chief marketing officer. I, I forget I'm, I'm, his name. Okay. But he sent out a, or they posted a letter from him today on the T-Mobile website. Mm -hmm. To paraphrase, to paraphrase the letter, it said, Dear T-Mobile users, no, we're not getting the iPhone. (laughs) There are, it's more like, we would really, really, really love to give all you people that really, really, really want an iPhone an iPhone on our service. They, they opened up by saying they're not getting the iPhone. However, there are over 1 million unlocked iPhones on their service, and they're more than happy to support them. Here's a list of phones you can have, though. Sincerely yours, Jackass. It's tremendous that they they went ahead and just hi- they they just highlighted it. Like, and I know you you were like that. You thought this was it. You thought this was the iPhone coming at you, and uh, and I read the letter. It was very like. Yeah, we'd really like to do it, and we know you guys would really like us to do it too. But look over here at these phones we have <laughs> that are all 4G. Uh, yeah, it was pretty tremendous. And, I'm, yeah. I, and, and, and I've been listening to other shows where where people have gone into T-Mobile stores. And I was telling you this earlier, Chachi. It really feels like T-Mobile's given up. It, it, you know, for whatever's going to happen with AT and T, if it, if it, uh, the word is <sighs> if AT and T doesn't get them, they're going under anyways. Yep. So, which means which someone is, will buy them. Which means someone will buy them at, at dirt cheap. Yeah. Which is like, why is an AT and T just waiting for them to go under so they can buy them at a you know bargain basement fire sale or something like that? Um, tempting to bring up that letter, but <sighs> yeah, it's I don't know, I don't know. I can really quick. It's I have it saved as one of my favorites on Twitter. I was, <laughs> no, I was at lunch. Yeah, yeah, when it came out, uh, and when the tweet the tweet was interesting about the iPhone, a letter to T-Mobile customers by the CMO. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, it has it must have these rumors about them getting it got so very heavy. They're like, we need to address this. Now, was this the right way for them to address it? Nope. They nope. could have just said you, no. You as that, a customer, they are at a mobile phone conference right now. Are they? Yes. Yeah. Um, I forget what it's called, but there's a conference going so on right now. So this is more like advertising a, a, accompanying the conference. The conference. Right. They could have announced it at the conference. It would have hit every news yeah, source. Yeah. Done. But no. And, and instead, instead, this is like the yeah about that iPhone in nah. in, in comparison. So they made me angry. Uh, not angry. I'm disappointed who, in them. Who else are you disappointed in? Chuck? Nintendo. Nintendo. Yeah. Now, what's what's Nintendo doing? They're they're pushing they're, they're pushing old games. Yeah. And that upsets me. <laughs> Star Fox 64 is yeah. their big one right now. Yeah. Mario 64, Zelda 64, Star Fox 64. Was it Mario 64? Yeah. Huh. They released that again. Yeah. In 3D. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. So you know, instead of pitching me a new game. No, giving no. me something, you know, a new concept. 
they're like Hollywood. Here, have a remake. It's like, did they not have developers working on new concepts enough over there? I guess not. I mean, they didn't. did they not know the 3DS was coming soon enough to do something else? <sighs> to do something new? I wonder if they're just buying their time for the first year to get those games kicked out of the door. It just, I mean, uh, what, Kid Icarus got, can- got uh, not canceled, uh, delayed. Now it's something new. I have the letter up. Okay. You, you, oh, for the T-Mobile? I, I think we got the gist of that, though. His name is uh, Cole Broadman. The picture is pretty good. Yeah, there. The picture is pretty good. He's uh, he's very celebratory. Yeah, there know. he is. Like, look, look, like, hey, look, these are not iPhones not in iPhones. my hands. I'm yes. not holding an iPhone. There yeah. You go. There you go. But the line in it that upsets me is Android has evolved quickly from geek to chic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yeah. I'm very disappointed in you guys. There you go. Oh, that's my Twitter. Hey, look, follow me on Twitter. Chachi, Chachi says. says. And and the me giggle dot tumblr dot com. Yeah, that's that's tremendous. <laughs> I'll be following that. Uh, Google Wallet. Anybody care? Nope. Google Wallet. No. Not gonna right. We talked it. about this months ago. Did we, did we? I don't know. There was first. It, it's out now. Rob is still there. Hey, Rob's still there. He. Did, I'm there. Yes. I didn't know you were still there. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, Thanks for letting me rant. <laughs> he just uh, doesn't care. Oh, hey, you know they did. They did add some stuff to the Google Hangout stuff. Uh, yeah, it, everyone can use it on everybody. Anything. Well, everybody can use it. Uh, iPhone and Android uh, both have Hangouts mm-hmm. now. If you have a front-facing camera, they don't let you cheat and just use the back camera or anything. Oh, so you're out. You're out. Uh, but 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 my brother was using it on his iPhone four, and it, it seems to work out pretty good for him. So. Sure. So, yeah, you know, when everybody gets their new iPhone, except for Chachi in another month, yep. um, they'll be all good for that. I right, know they had another thing, though, that was... No, um, I'll probably just quit T-Mobile. you probably just quit T-Mobile. <laughs> well, I mean, if this is the direction they're going, you know, I mean, that's, you know. They'll probably get a sprint. Well, Hangouts, they added a lot of stuff. Um, now you can name your Hangout, and they added uh, new APIs for Google+. Why do you need to name your Hangout? I, so it's I can say, go join my Hangout, and it's integrated with Google Docs. I'm hanging out, yo. <laughs> hanging out. Uh, I, well, I think I think you can uh, publicize them. So you can. I, I, I'm imagining there's oh, there's kind of a link out. thing. Uh, but you can also create a Google Doc, so people you can have your meeting in the Doc right there. You can draw, there's a drawing board uh, in there as well. That could be interesting. Hmm. Nobody else is excited about this, but me. No. Nope. Rob? Because it's part of Google Plus and no one cares about Google Plus. I, well, I, I don't think that's right. I think I have yet to hang out once. Rob, you're just not on this, the right time to hang out. You don't go on Google Plus, so you never see when people are hanging out. I'm busy being productive, I'm sorry. Oh, there's that too. There's We're that too. on other things, doing stuff. <laughs> doing things, not hanging Content out. Content creation on other platforms. <laughs> All right. Uh, what else we got here? There was um, Twitter opens up photo sharing via text messages on some carriers. Oh, well. Oh, well. Are yeah. we over that? Is anybody using Twitter for text anymore? No. I guess everybody's got a smartphone. Everyone's using an app. Everyone's using an app? Yep. Rob? Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay. See? Final Cut Pro X update and 30-day trial. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> No, um, uh, I've actually I've had to deal with this a lot. Now you've played with it. I've downloaded the trial. I want to edit this show on oh, Final oh, Cut oh, X tonight. Yeah, yeah, that's my plan. I want to get some use on it. See how it is. That's a pretty good plan. I mean, I mean this is this is probably one of the simplest shows to put together. Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, I'll start with this. See if I can do the mayhem show on it. See if I run into the, any roadblocks. See how I transfer over from my Final Cut Studio Seven. Uh, knowledge mm-hmm. base. I know you're coming from iMovie, Rob. Uh, yeah, yeah, coming up from iMovie. Uh, <laughs> also coming from Adobe Premiere. Yeah. So oh, okay. Uh, so and that's that's not too much different than the Final Cut Pro we, we've we've had. So um, the update also uh, 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 you know kind of addressed some of the missing features, including support for rich XML and XSAN, which is uh, kind of their server stuff, full screen view, and media stem export. Uh, they and they 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 you know and they and they they did address that these are uh, an attempt to answer the concerns people had of their 
quote, very vocal customers industry. Um, I don't know. I the think, whole industry. The whole industry. Oh, man. Oh, you know, so angry. You know what? There, I, I, I have like run into a lot of people in the industry working for video houses, doing this and the other thing, and they're like, they, they don't even give it a second thought. They're like, I'm going to Premiere. There is not a second thought to it. They're like, I feel gypped. I'm going to Premiere. Yeah, it was the way they rolled the whole thing out was yeah. really poorly done. I mean, I have all the faith that they're going to fix it, but they shouldn't have had to fix it. Exactly, exactly. Why, when they did that keynote, they did that keynote, and the keynote did a very, very good job. Like, I mean, this was this was an hour keynote about video software, and I was geeking out. You know, I'm, I'm sharing this around. I've still had my day job. I was sharing around. I'm like, look at this stuff we're going to be able to do with this. This is going to make this, this, and this so much more easier. And then on launch day, we find out it's not compatible with our old files. Are you yeah. serious, Apple? That was bad. News. That was horrible. That was the that was the biggest the biggest mess up I've seen a company do in ages. And, yeah. and, I mean, to to, to 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 professionals, you know, more than anything, you know, I mean that. How many? How many? You know, blindly bought, dropped their three hundred dollars because they're like, "Of course, this is going to work. It's the next version," and it doesn't. So, I mean, I think it just really, I it really should have been disclosed a lot earlier, and I think it was circumvented a lot of these problems. But that's my two cents. It is so. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be trying it out, and you know, it, yeah, I'm going to buy it anyways. I think this is the direction things are going to be going. I think if you drop over to Premiere and go to stay, stick with that old way. I think there's, yay, you've, you don't, you don't worry about the stuff you've learned, but I think, uh, you know, from what, what I'm seeing, this, you know, Rob, you can maybe test to the, test to this. It's a better way of doing things. Yes, it is. Um, I mean, there's still a lot of big features that it, it just falls flat on where like the, um, hmm, there's a, We'll just say there's a lot of like advanced features that are currently very, 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 very broken. Um, and there is absolutely no upgrade scheme between anything like a Final Cut 7 and the, the newest version of Final Cut. So it is a completely new investment. And if you have a completely working workflow right now, it would be really dumb for you to upgrade. And that's unfortunate. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's about it. I mean, it, it will be good. And the updates, like, piece by piece and making it work with XN. Really awesome. It should have been that way from the gate. Yeah, so do you want to address this? What's going on in the chat room here? Uh, they're, they're having their own conversation. And uh, they're talking about uh, the social media sites that they don't like. Mm -hmm. And Sonic Screwdriver says that Facebook is nice enough to send them emails to check his notifications. And then he logs in to find out vital information that someone gave him a beagle... Or an invitation to some farm, city, frontier, ghetto... Suburb, Means your castle, friends are awful. <laughs> it's not Facebook's fault that your friends are You can turn those awful. off. You know and you can turn those off. And then he yeah. said, sorry, a cyber beagle. A cyber beagle, yeah. okay. Yeah, I mean, that's it. That's 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 methods. And, and just... I, well, and you know, that's the other thing. Oh, you, that's the other thing with Facebook. They they announced their new timelines. Anybody on timelines yet? Have they unrolled rolled this out to us yet? I have not logged into Facebook since they've done since it. Since they've done it? Yeah. I mean, we have, I mean, uh, the, why, why is my Facebook, it, what, I heard Facebook being described as Google Plus with Twitter on the side lately. Because we have our stream on the, on the left and now we have yeah. this big kind of column right. of gunk over here on the right going on that keeps moving and distracting me. Um, but then you, I understand what they're getting at, but it really seems like they're trying to compress so much information on one screen. One screen, it's just really getting convoluted. Yeah, at the this new point. profiles are super nice. Though. They I, yeah, they're they're nice enough and everything. But I and, and plus there's all oh we got these new security settings. Who's going to use these security settings? My mom's not going to get these security settings and wonder why why this happened. Why she's getting well, cyber beagles on her doing, notifications? Uh, you know, they're rolling out a lot of those security. They're doing. Uh, they're taking the security functions that will. Uh, pull back on the amount of information that gets passed around. Mm -hmm. They're making those opt out. Okay. okay. So you're going to, your mom is going to start, but that kind of important stuff already turned on. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. And that's what they should have probably been doing this whole time. Mm -hmm. And that's also, I don't know if you got the email, but they've been sending out emails over the last week or so <laughs> that were basically like, Hey, look, we've realized we've been really annoying for a while. So we are going to proactively cut down on the amount of emails that you receive. And this is something that you mm -hmm. could have done yourself a while ago and you chose not to, 
But for the good of the internet and the fact that all of you people keep complaining about it, we're just going to hold your hand and do it for you. And then if you ever want to turn it back on, you can go ahead and do it yourself. Now, uh, uh, John, we, we should address this. John is asking, why is there a Your Life timeline now? That's kind of their big feature now. <laughs> There's always been a Your Life timeline. It, has it there does, been? Now, it's, it's becoming a more front and center type of thing, right? Yeah. Do you oh. remember back when Facebook first started, there was the social timeline? Uh, no, no. It, oh, wait, wait, wait. Is it not when they first started? Are you talking about the thing where it's like every interaction I had with this person? Yeah, like if you, uh, the, the easiest and most annoying thing that you could see in your social timeline was um, relationships that you were in. Okay. So like it would say like, At this point you broke up with so-and-so. <laughs> At this point, you <laughs> entered a new relationship with so and so. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. Big life events, moving, new jobs. Um, if you dumped a whole bunch of pictures on one day, there would be like a note, stuff like that. But it's that. It's, it was there for the longest time, and then they hit it. It was actually completely unavailable for a while, and they're just bringing it back. It's not a new feature. Okay, it's, yeah, it's but, new to most people, but, but it's, it's, it's ideally it's I say, but one it's of those new? things that they keep behind the scenes, and they decided to turn it back on. Okay. Okay. What does this say? Will you? Oh, and Sonic Screwdriver wants to know if you'll be his friend on Google Plus. Oh. You've been asked. You've been called out. Will you friend this guy, or is he going to be going in your in your crap, well, first off, crap you circle? Don't friend people on Google Plus. <laughs> first of all, you're doing can, it wrong right off the bat. Can he be in your circle? <laughs> He'll be in a circle, sure. <laughs> <laughs> don't know if it's the one he wants to be Usually in. I just let people add me to their circles and they see the cool thing about Google Plus. There's You don't have to add him back. It's the internet. He did it's... disclose that he won't charge you because the internet is free. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your week, your crap's week, uh, says that he'll rent your friend's friendship. He'll rent my friendship? Yeah. How much? <laughs> what are we talking about here? How do you get, if, you, if I have timelines... How do I find it? No one cares. I no. I want to see it. It's apparently apparently I don't have it. Maybe view as. It's a view oh, as okay, this like view th this view as button. I tried to bring up the. Uh, oh hey, is that the? Yeah, I tried. To okay, bring yeah, don't bring that one back up. I tried to bring up the crash. Hi. Let's see what you were working wait, on. Wait, wait. How how your profile looks to you? Uh, and I can use this tool to see how it looks. No, oh, this isn't. Was this here before? It, 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 uh, if you do view as, you can enter your friend's name and see how much of their profile they can see. Huh. Mm. That's that's kind of weird. That's kind of smart. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. So, well, there you go. Crotch cam is defective. <laughs> I'm sorry, the crotch cam is defective. We couldn't show off my profile, my personal information here. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, anyways, your life is on the internet, everyone knows you. Me? Yes, everyone knows you. I don't know about everybody. Your life is. I'm on not the that internet. famous. I'm not I like. Am. I'm not like. I'm not like I Justine or Matthew Evil or something. Or me. Or Chachi. I'm yeah. obviously obviously not Chachi. Yeah. Obviously. Uh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, hey, we want to say a word out to our affiliate this week, Google Plus. I'm sorry, not Google Plus. <laughs> Hulu Plus is our affiliate. They got all kinds of, of shows on there. <laughs> I'm sorry, I screwed up already. <laughs> No, but they got they got a great thing going on there. I pay for it. I, I watch it on my Xbox uh, 360. I was just watching the new Cleveland show the other day that had Ric Flair on it, and uh, it really I can't tell any difference to it being on uh, on on the internet versus my TV. Uh, it's it's full HD. It's really cool, uh, and they got some uh, some great British stuff I've been watching, like the Misfits and Whites. Uh, it's not what you think it is. It's about cooking. I swear. Um, cool. And uh, and you know a bunch of old episodes. I really want to go back and watch the old Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I've never seen. I've never seen all of it. Um, just wait until Amazon Prime. As well, I, you know, I just watch on Amazon Prime apparently. But this is a lot cheaper, and you can check it out for a, a week or two, depending if you have an educational account for free. Uh, go check it out at awesomecast.com. Click the link for the Hulu Plus free trial. See, uh, you know, kind of see. I know a lot of people probably use it to watch The Office the next day. Kind of see what other information, you know, what other stuff they've added to it uh, that you get to check out. You get to check it out on your on your uh, iPads and iPhones and Android devices. Now, I think they open it up for everybody on your Android device. Um, 
And yeah, go check it out. It's seven nine seven ninety nine a month after that. So please check out our affiliate Hulu Plus at awesomecast.com. And we hope Plus. you do that. Does even if you just try out the trial, it supports the show. It shows people are there and they're doing a the clicky thing. Yes. And you guys can check it out. Go to the website. <laughs> also check us out. Help us we are on the show. We are on Stitcher.com. We got a handy link over there on awesome das- um, awesomecast.com. And if you go over there and uh, click the Stitcher link to check us out on Stitcher and uh, put in your email address there to get the app on whatever device you have, uh, that supports the show. Uh, that shows them that you're coming from us, and uh, and 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 it, and it's free. It's something you can do for free, even if you don't have an iPhone. Go do it. <laughs> Um, and it's on the Android device as well. So Yay! go check that out. You guys can contact us. Contact at awesomecast.com. <laughs> so you're ahead of me. You're oh ahead well. of me, man. Oh well. Should have been on me. Yeah, you know what? You can call us at 724-25-ACAST, 724-252-2278. Uh, we're, of course, here every Tuesday recording live at 7 p.m. Eastern. And you can join us in the chat room like these guys are, like your craps week. Like uh, Bobby F. J. Town, Sonic Screw- Screwdriver 3, Riz IUP, and everybody else that joins us in the show. And Chachi can freak you out on the camera in person. You know what's, uh, awesome. what's up? What's up? That's going to be on TV. That's going to be on TV if I send this in. Yeah. You don't know I'm going to send this episode in. Are you not? Now I am. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys uh hey sorgatronmedia.com is where you can find all the stuff we're working on all the stuff i'm working on uh we got unsung we got a couple new casts going on there we're building a muffin at cafe solstice this saturday if you're in the pittsburgh area go to cafe solstice.net for in- more information on that yes there's going to be a cooking show on the sorgatron media network all right you're going to do a cooking show that's it's it's going to be a lot of fun we're making bacon dutters bacon and chocolate cookies I thought we were doing muffins. That's I'm changing the name. The Build a Muffin was a placeholder name for the show. We don't have a name for the show. Oh, so we're working on that part. This is going to be well, a test record. We're I know some people that are really excited, excited about, about muffins. A muffin, yeah. Hey, we can build some muffins. I, I think it's going to be build a baked good in the long run because we're starting with cookies. So I mean, yeah, I, I mean it's going to be a little bit of everything. Um. Yeah, I know some people that are extremely, extremely excited, excited about muffins. To build a muffin. Well, we're not building a muffin this week, but we can build muffins. I just might not there. call it build a muffin because we're not just building muffins. This is the log- logistical problems we have to deal with, Chachi. You should have figured it out before people got excited about, <laughs> about the muffins. <laughs> Rob, yeah. what are you doing? At the moment. No, I mean, well, you're stretching and yawning because yep. you're bored. Do yep. we bore you? Usually. Wow. This is a pretty miserable experience every week. You're fired. <laughs> You're the fired. less than awesome show. Thanks a lot, yeah. Rob. <laughs> the You're moderately fired. uninteresting show. Um, Considering that you named it. I didn't name it. I just had the domain. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? Uh, t- uh, too much stuff uh, that it has too many short deadlines. <laughs> and is way too important. Um... I don't know. What am I doing? Um, I might be shooting somebody's kid's football game some weekend. Woo! That's, a, that's like an unwork related thing. Um, summer's coming. Summer's coming up. Summer is what? winding down. So, uh, the cycling thing is kind of like just riding the work. And, uh, I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, Rob, you take a nap. Chachi, what do you got going on? Well, I started a new Tumblr. Yes, uh, yeah, obviously. As, really, as, I'm as unfamiliar. Because you didn't need covered, enough to do. Yeah, as you we still, covered. You just played uh, through Quake, all of them? Yeah, all three Quakes. Well, there's no. four, technically. All of the Quakes. That doesn't count. No. No, it definitely doesn't count. No. Although, interesting fact, that's the only one that actually attaches itself to another Quake. Yes, it does. Yes, and it that's does, the only te- one. Technically, yes. Yeah, it's yeah. a sequel to two. Yeah. That's it, though. Yep. None, of, them, none nope. of the rest have anything in common don't know, with the name. Don't know why they're all quick. <laughs> yep. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so we got the blog thing going on. Chachi says .net, where I'm doing 1,001 video games. We're up to? 80. 80? Yeah. <laughs> we got a long way to go. We got a long way to go. Um, there, we do. there will be a milestone hit this week, though. Oh, yeah? I finished my first letter. And that is? Q. <laughs> Q. <laughs> And it's not really a big deal because there's only like seven games in the queue range, but it's still a milestone. 
tremendous. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, meetgiggle.tumblr.com for random funny crap. Uh, unsung, Chachi says a big cast, planning events, you know, that stuff. Alrighty. Back to you, sir. Back to me, guys. Thanks a lot. You guys have been in an awesome chat room tonight. Uh, one twenty sixth of the way. One twenty sixth of the way. <laughs> the chat room with the fast math. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You've been in our awesome uh, chat room. Ian, you are the awesome audience. Have an awesome week. that I fixed in like 10 minutes. Jeez. It was, it was really bad. Here, pro tip for anybody listening, pro tip. Stress doesn't help you use your fucking brain. Shut up. <laughs> wow. Jesus. You are angry. I, 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 like unnecessary stress. There are very few ways to like really piss me off, genuinely piss me off, and in there is inducing unnecessary stress. Yeah, so, yeah. So if you're going to flip out for no good reason, yeah, you're on my shit list. Hello, Hot Wheels. <laughs> Hello, Sonic Screwdriver 3. Okay, it, it would seem that somebody had taken the boxed wine and switched it for the cool <laughs> I just been filling the picture. <laughs> Woo! Wow. Man, that's, no, everything is okay, Rob. I, I don't know where this is coming from. I'm just kind of... You're Adobe uh, you know, You know what it is. It. You know what happens, Rob? Did you meet a girl? Did I meet a girl? <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you talking about? No, I'm married. Uh, I'm uh, yes, my wife, Rob, my uh, lovely wife. I did manage to uh, submit the podcast podcamp show to the TV. Oh, uh, to the television. To the television. Did you uh, did, you, did the, you try and put a peanut butter and jelly in the VCR again? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, what, the only things I had to delete is somebody said asshole once, and oh, no. I deleted all of the uh, instances of taint. Um, taint? I left Why? I left ass. I'm pretty sure I, I think taint is is a no no. I don't. I was corresponding with Big Bob, asking because I figured if they can say it there, that we can say it on TV, because it's the same FCC, right? Right? Yeah. Right? Right? So I mean, it's going by that. We'll see if I get an email about that. So that'll be up in about three months. So, but no, but I went in and they had this box and you drop your thing in the box and, and I turned around and there's Rob's face on the TV. On the TV? On the TV. And I was like so fascinated because I had not seen our show on the TV. Well, and, I went home and it one is you. Tuesday after recording the shows and I'm channel surfing <laughs> like I always do mm -hmm. and bam, there's my face on TV. Yeah, it's, it's a... I, I didn't even see me. I, it, like the, in the like two minutes that I sat there, I'd never cut to me. <laughs> it was like AJ and and Rob, and I don't even think I saw you. <laughs>